Listen, I hate to interrupt your aneurysm as I know you're just absolutely losing it over these new 4K 240Hz Quantum Dot OLED gaming monitors, and I mean, it's for good reason. Let's be honest, these are a monumental leap in terms of image quality over any other monitors we've had in the past. They are great monitors, don't get me wrong, but I'm here to tell you, well, actually, LG might have some options that are going to be better and I'm gonna explain exactly why. Now, I know this is controversial, and in the past, I've considered Quantum.OLED to be the superior technology as it does not have a white subpixel, which means that at higher brightness levels, you are gonna get greater color volume out of Quantum.OLED, and that's going to remain true. So if that's your goal to have the best colors at the highest brightness, then Quantum.OLED is going to be that for you. However, there's one major issue with Quantum.OLED that I've been noticing more as I've had more and more people complain about it to me, and that's the actual text clarity. As when I got closer to these 32-inch size Quantum.OLED displays, I actually started noticing the text fringing a lot more, and I've had, yeah, a lot of people complaining about it to me in Discord and on YouTube and other places that it just seems really, really bad to them. And to a degree, it kind of can be. It really depends on what's on your screen, but in the past, I kind of thought Quantum.OLED was better, but again, as I got closer, I've started to change my opinion. I think even current WOLED is a little bit better in terms of text clarity than Quantum.OLED, even on its new subpixel arrangement. And we're talking about WOLED currently, guys, is actually green, red, white, blue. So that's also not correct and gives you quite a bit of fringing at times as well, especially at 1440p. However, at 4K, it's actually not as bad as Quantum.OLED, at least in my opinion, but it's about to get a whole lot better because LG is actually bringing out RGWB, which is going to be essentially RGB, just with an extra white subpixel in the middle. And I think that's actually gonna lead to some pretty good looking text. Now, will it be as good as LCD in terms of text clarity? No, it'll still be worse because of the white subpixel, but after seeing one in person at CES, I actually do think this is going to be far better in terms of clarity than Quantum.OLED. Now, the big problem with these monitors is unfortunately, they're using a matte finish. So for a lot of people, including myself, that's an immediate deal breaker. Now we do have fortunately Dome making a Gorilla Glass version, but as far as I'm aware right now, they're the only company doing so. And if you even are considering buying something from Doe, definitely only do so once it's actually available in Best Buy and B&H. Do not do pre-orders, honestly, for any products, but especially expensive monitors from Doe. That's just not a good idea. Just don't do that. Wait till they're actually available to be shipped. But that monitor specifically, because it has Gorilla Glass rather than a matte coating, is going to be a huge huge, huge improvement over the regular matte versions. You're gonna get far better clarity, you're gonna get better perceived contrast as well as vibrancy. And actually, I think that's gonna be the display that I'm looking forward to most this year. I mean, not only that, but also these LG OLEDs are gonna be significantly brighter than the Quantum.OLEDs as well. So you're gonna be trading some color volume in HDR for brightness and also better text clarity. So that's gonna be a decision you guys are gonna have to make and that's why I'm gonna be reviewing them. But I do think actually they could be a little bit better suited for PC use because of that better text clarity for a lot of people, probably myself included, but only time will tell. We'll just have to wait and see when I get my hands on one for a review. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention they do have a 480 hertz mode, so they'll be faster if you're into that thing. And by into that thing, I mean turning your resolution down to 1080p which I'm not. Whether you're looking to connect a new console, gaming PC, or just need a fast and reliable HDMI cable to connect over long distances, Rupro has you covered with their certified 8K HDMI 2.1 fiber optic cable available in sizes of up to 50 feet and can deliver a perfect full 48 gigabits per second connection over distances other cables could only dream of reaching. And with 48 gigabits per second of bandwidth, it can easily drive 8K 60 FPS or 4K 144 FPS 10-bit HDR video through its ultra-thin, flexible, and durable housing, and it even supports ER. So if you're in the market for a cable that can drive a beautiful new TV or monitor, be sure to check out Rupro on Amazon today.